But people swear by that. Mm. All right, let's go through the builds. Once again, we got that trip art left. Uh, Junker, the Lesser Argonian Maid, with the uh, Hades Banshee. And uh, Jin's Pagoda, nothing different as well, it looks like, with the uh, left Artemis, two left Lumberjacks, and uh, a Carousel. I mean, uh, not a Carousel, a Carinade Manticore side. Alrighty. Oh, God, we're already having shots. Yeah, it's well, we do have... <laughs> Darn these snipers. <laughs> long range weapons on a, on a long range map. So, Sultry Argonian Bard, I'm just going to take a quick look here. It looks like there are no discernible changes. Same build as before Gat Mortar, Kill Side, Triple Artemis Side, and again, another mob with the uh, Artemises on the outer wings, Mercury no Middle, changes. and then close range. Yep. No changes. So, long range fire is already going ringing down. ringing out. Artemis is going everywhere. Sultry Argonian Bard is actually taking quite a bit of damage. Lots lost some components. Hasn't taken any, you know, permahole or anything like that, but yeah, lots, lots of actually had discernible armor. Lots of disables issues. going down there. The main engine is out currently, and I'm going to tell you, Sammy, in my opinion, the most annoying thing when you're in a junker getting hit by Artemis is, is your engines going out. That really Definitely. Me, I like to move. So <laughs> I don't like it when my engines go out. But Thankfully, the engines, at least the turning engines on a, on a Junker are somewhat more difficult to hit. The main is, is fairly easy to take out, but the turning engines are a little more uh, survivable, I think, since they're kind of it. suspended there, and you have to hit them directly in order to... That looks really like the uh, uh, the Mad Hatters this time are trying to get behind uh, good old Candy Mountain. It yeah, looks like we have a bit of a splitting gauge here. The Glory Hogger is sort of remaining uh, in the center of the map. You're uh, right. Above the, the pointy rock there at the northern end of C3 while uh, Zuka in the Sultry Argonian Bard is moving uh, around the southern edge of Candy Mountain trying to get a flank there, it looks like, although I think the the Gents team uh, is wise to what's going on there. So mm -hmm. It's not looking like uh, you know either team's really trying to just uh, you know lose their spots, kind of regroup. I think both teams are just kind of content to just sit in the open and just try to outshoot the other one. Mm. And I mean, if you're looking at Sultry Argonian Bard, it's lost a lot of weapons. It certainly lost a lot of weapons. However, if you look at the Pagoda, it's lost a lot of armor. I think one oh. more Mercury hit on the Pagoda, and that thing will be uh, raspberried, armor down. You sure enough, there, there they go. And a few little plinks from the, uh, the Artemis is going down there. But I really, you know... Ah, you know... You really are... I, I really think you're right about the Merc making the difference. I just, um... You know... Are, uh, mm. I'm torn to say this because I want people to keep using triple Artemises, honestly, because I think it's 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 a build it's a build that has a lot of weaknesses, and I feel like <laughs> I don't know I'm being a jackass here, but like you just oh, like <laughs> like no I'm whenever I'm like saying anything in the forums, Frogger's like don't tell them that I, I'm, I'm really the basic of I'm a really devious bastard. And Frogger's always just like no <laughs> all knowledge must stay in the ducks. That's why I don't really post on the forums because I'm very uh, I don't know I like to keep things within the little. Monastery, but it's really damn easy to repair through triple Artemis. I'll just say it. Like, <laughs> it's okay. Your shit gets blown up, but like, you know, I don't know. I, I can normally chug my way over to a triple Artemis junker long enough to get Gatling mortar on it and blow it away. So great. Yeah, you realize the next me. time we play competitively, we're gonna have a triple Artemis against us. And you've angered the Karma God so much. I know. I know. We'll have the worst spawn. I know. We'll have I know. so many reasons we'll lose. And then people will uh, review this uh, recording and just, just stomp all over me. So hey, mm -hmm. you know people. That's what I deserve. But I've had this on my on my chest for a long time, and I've really wanted to uh, <laughs> sort of unload it. So I just, like, I just, I don't know. It's a bad build. Not a bad build. I just don't like it. That's my opinion. <laughs> well, um, I mean, we are seeing it useful. I mean, at these ranged engagements, and I think it's really, but it's showing to be a far more useful for the blue team than the red team because they do have. Yeah. That Mercury helping yeah, out. Yeah, I think the Mercury is really the key here. Because a single Mercury will actually screw up armor pretty well. Obviously, won't do it as quickly as a Gatling, but I mean, you saw that you were getting fairly regular armor pops on the Galleon with all the armor that it has. So, I mean, imagine how. Now, um, now we just missed something. <laughs> the, uh, well, the gentleman just had a pause. They, um, I think they must have had a disconnect somewhere. Oh, I'm taking a look here. Uh, I don't see any. Uh... Uh, no, they've gotten their sub back in. They, you know, they're saying game on now. But... Okay, gotcha. All right, well, good to see the the gentleman being. I, I was wondering why there was suddenly such a lull in the shooting. Yeah. Let's see. But... Can't yeah. really tell easily who's gone at the moment. 
taking a look right, here so. at things from the gents' perspective. I'm kind of in my pagoda cam mode here. <clears throat> it looks like the glory hogger. They probably don't know where the glory hogger is. I'm thinking it is. Well, kind I mean, of... press T real quick, and you can see for sure. It's just impossible to see just about anything. Yeah. There's some dark clouds right now. There is a spot going down, although the glory hogger is safely uh, screened from the pagoda. Looks like the the gents will be probably focusing the Argonian bard. Although there is no mark on the bard, they are managing to put fire on it. I'm just not seeing many lumberjack connections. I feel like that's another serious issue in this game. There's not a lot of lumberjack connections, and that's something that right. that the gents are really relying on, both for disables, getting those balloons down, and also for the armor breaks. And if those right. if those lumberjacks are not hitting, you're not getting armor pops, and you know, okay, so we finally ha we we do have a balloon. Yeah, we're, we're seeing the, the connections bar. now, yeah. as you're talking about not seeing the connections. <laughs> I should really shut. But uh, Soldier Guardian I... Bard, he lost the balloon. Um, didn't take too terribly much armor damage though. But most of the Bard's guns are out. Uh, there's fires, fires going on. Yeah. Argonian Bard's rightfully trying to get out of that engagement right now. But sure you know what? Enough, We're still seeing. I mean, even with the lumberjacks hitting with the uh, balloon yeah, down, no it's really just not doing there's enough no raspberries. armor damage. That's, that's... The raspberry bushes have been plucked clean. Mm. No one can find them. Yeah, it's just not getting the DPS you need in order to to get those hull pops. And the Argonian bard yeah. will soon. The uh, bard is completely out of the fight. Don't get don't get me wrong on that. But it's not. The bard might as well not be there. But they're not getting the point. Right. And the maid is taking again that that Mercury is just really really wrecking the the perma hull on the Indeed. Argonian maid and, and uh, if, we, if uh, blue team can get some Artemis fire on there, unfortunately that that was not uh, following up for them. But well, sure enough, when you look at the other shoot now, I mean they're basically shooting at the junker facing it at extreme range. Right. That's a very hard hit for any gun. Absolutely, yeah. I just feel like the pagoda really. Mm, the Pagoda really needs to get in this fight here. I mean, what we're seeing is the Argonian Maid is sort of one on one the Glory Hogger, and it's not honestly doing that well. well I would say the Hogger's it, well, the Hogger just only just now got his weapons up. All the weapons were down the Hogger just a second ago. That's true. It is it is um, getting disabled to quite some extent, but I'm just wondering what what uh, the the thought process is in the Pagoda right now, since you have the Maid sort of one v oneing the Glory Hogger. Okay, here the Pagoda is rising up, lifting up, trying to get those <laughs> uh, double lumberjacks onto the Glory Hogger, and sure enough, a lot of damage coming into the Glory Hogger. Boom, oh, down, armor, armor down. down. So now we're going to see tons of Artemis damage. Ooh. Maybe this is this is the moment we've been waiting to see for this build to to shine here. But because well, uh, the, the gents have clearly been winning this engagement for most of the time, but with their build choices, they haven't had anything to capitalize. They haven't been able to get points. They've only been able to basically take out all the guns, take out balloons, keep ships out of the fight, but they right. can't get the points. We are seeing, I mean, if you looking at, um, you know, just looking at the, the, the component registers here in Permahole and Armor and whatnot, definitely the uh, gents are, are in the lead. Um, they have sustained very little Permahole damage and, mm -hmm. and comparatively little uh, component disables, so... You know, perhaps my criticisms of this of this build are, are <laughs> premature here. Uh, it, I think it, 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 it's a slow build, and I mean, that that's that's what's so different about ducks and gents. The ducks are very much about quick kills. We'll take a while to get to the quick kill, uh, potentially. We'll be patient about it, but once we engage, we're trying to end that engagement as soon as possible. Right. With the gents, they're willing to just take you out slowly. Right. They're willing to just yeah, you know keep true. all your components down. They'll pop your balloon. They'll keep you out of the fight. You know, death by pinpricks. Yep. And we're about to see it on the Glory Hogger. Glory Hogger is down. Wow. And yep. so your Argonian bait in. So Argonian bard that. really needs to abort here. Some some crafty terrain maneuvering here from the bard. However, I don't think that it's going to lead to anywhere run. positive for he the needs Mad Hatter. Needs to get high here. and get out. That's right. Yeah. And I think we're seeing that he has uh he's popping that hydrogen. Was yep. that? No, nah, it's just kerosene. Does he have hydrogen? No, I don't believe so. He does not. Oh, you know, something I interesting. Wait a minute. Something I just noticed here. Huh? Izuka is not a captain. Engineer captain. <laughs> well, Why? That's such don't a I feel like a new silly and innovative boy. thing. I've never seen that before. Don't I feel like you? a silly boy? No, I have never seen an engineer captain on a drunker before. <laughs> and wow, the Mad Hatter's Definitely not on got a kill. <laughs> this Holy. Is, the the, the oh. revelations are, are, are opening up here. Like... Crazy. Well, let's take a look at this. Yeah. Um, 
Well, Very, um, I mean, we have an engagement going down, but we definitely need to bookmark this and return to it at a later moment, since this is right. most... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, zoom in at it and then but show the actual engagement going on with the pagoda. Most worthy um, of scrutiny here, absolutely. Um, Bar, not in a good position. If I were him, I would kind of reverse and try to get below that little mound of, of rock to just kind of, you know, drop out of the wow. engagement. It looks like he's might be able to Bar, do that. He's hitting the yeah, ground I think hard. he's going to be able to do that. I think he's going to be. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. Well, I mean, where's the maid in all this? Maid's coming in, though, soon, but so is the glory. Yeah. We're seeing a really weird engagement. This is a very <laughs> weird engagement. I think the spawns kind of mess things up. Oh, God, glory hogger's weird. just about to die. That's what I was talking about with the mobula. The mobula's not ready for the engagement. They will go down in a heartbeat because no one's near the armor. Yeah. Um, at the very beginning, nah, you know, they're in this, engagement this, mode. This does not look good for the bard. Very. These are easy lumberjack shots, easy Artemis shots. I expect the the, the bard will be just hammered into into giblets here. <laughs> um, it's already starting to to bottom out. I believe the the balloon. I mean, the balloon is up. Barely keeping the engines up. Balloons okay. You know, it's, it's interesting. Like I just feel like with double lumberjacks, we should see more balloon pops. You know, I just I feel like there's not enough balloon I mean, popping going down, considering the amount of lumberjack power that is available to to the gents. Maybe I'm missing something here, but I just feel like well, those perhaps shots are it's deep. the fact that they have uh, that extra spanner upstairs with the captain Could being be, an engineer. Yeah. You know, I would also like to note. I I just looked at the uh, the tab screen here. Byron is also a uh, engineer captain. Oh my god. So this is a gents strategy, perhaps, that we have I kind of wish see. I didn't have to like talk so much about what's going on in the game, because I really just want to study this. I know. It's... Frog and I are both uh, junker captains, and I mean, I've thought about engineer captain, but I just, I use tools so much. <laughs> yeah, for my play uh, style, I use all I mean, three tools my, all the time. You know, um, I got in my tools. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh man, you know it's it's funny because you know I was really expecting this to be you know one, uh, what people have come to regard as a stereotypical gents game. Oh man, another kill going down. Wow, I was really expecting God. this game to just drag on, but it's it's not. And like, there's things I want to talk <laughs> about, but I don't have time because there's so much happening. I know. God, I completely missed that no, kill. Gents have picked up another kill. The Mad Hatters just aren't doing so well in this open area. Yeah. And this is where we're seeing the lumberjacks shine. Yeah, I feel like the the, the lumberjack, uh, the galleon is doing much better on this on this more open map. I think. I think Glory Hogger <laughs> knew long for the world and just charging, but oh, yeah. gosh, lost that balloon is just falling to the earth. Yeah, not not good, but still, yeah, he's probably, yeah, Glory Hogger's armor oh, this is has down, to be the end of waiting Glory Hogger. for uh, waiting for some explosive damage to come in. Sure enough, Knights are abandoning ship, Artemis. and down goes Glory Hogger. All right, four bits. one to the gents. Let's see what the Mad Hatters are going to do to try to. Uh, counter this. God, do we have a break in the action yet? Can we look at these Junker builds? <laughs> um, so, okay, I'm just looking at uh, I'm looking at Byron in the, in the Lusty Argonian Maid here. He is an engineer captain. He Correct. has a spanner, a mallet, an extinguisher, and burst rounds, and his single piloting tool is tar, which is actually probably a pretty good one, yep. although without tools, especially kerosene, it's going to be even harder for a junker to escape. Junkers are typically... But I mean, you gotta think about it. The way the gents play, you know, they're not having their junker weave in and out of That's stuff true. like we do. This is, this is a stationary ship. It's That's designed true. to support um, its galleon buddy. That's and so, definitely true. You know what? It makes sense. He's like, oh crap, they're here. I'll just pop some tar. Right. It's not trying to run. And then we have Timmy B upstairs as well, and he's a buff engineer. Mouth spanner buff. And so that just gives them a lot of uh, repairability on their top deck, yeah, I see him which gives them a lot of firepower. I see him freshening up the um, the buffs there. Um, now, we're probably seeing a similar thing on the Bard, yeah, except the Zuka has Kerosene. Which does seem and, to... And uh, the Gent and their upstairs chief technician. Oh god, I gotta look at this quick. Alright, then they also have a Mouth Spanner buff upstairs. They, they also they all have burst rounds, which makes sense with their you know, the Artemis. Artemis's. Yeah, and it's there's Sorry, also a, Artemoda. <laughs> I think is there's the also a bit of uh, synergy there with with the uh, the mortar. So not not, right. not bad choices there. Not bad at all. All right, we're seeing uh the Mad Hatters have moved in a bit closer. Uh, sultry uh, Argonian Bard is a little too high to uh, be engaged by the lumberjacks, but I don't know if they can really see. 
Um, I know if you're watching the stream, you're like, I can see them clearly. Well, let me hit T for you real quick. And you now see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no health bars, no spots. It's uh, it, it can get hard in game. Especially when you have a team that's so good at hiding in clouds. Although we are now seeing an engagement. Sure enough, taking a look at things here, we're getting a lot of disables. I saw a, a slate of disables there hitting the Mad Hatters. Mm -hmm. like the, the Bard uh, lost his balloon, a lot of his guns are down. Yeah, I think. Uh, balloon armor is on fire. Looks like this more open map is definitely favoring the uh, double lumberjack build of Indeed. the Pagoda. I, th I feel like there were a lot of moments during the last game where the Pagoda was just not in a position due to the ribs screening or whatever to, to put to effect, effective it, fire on with, with, with the lumberjack. I mean, if you just sit down and think about it, how many ways are there to charge four Artemises and two Lumberjacks? It's, it's difficult. Open field. Yeah, there's some cloud cover, but, I mean, the gens popularized the idea of shooting through clouds. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, back in the day before I even started playing, that's what they were known for. Yeah. Who was that? Was it like David Hark or one of those old gent guys? Or... Well, I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I, I think we're going to see the end of the Sultry Argonian Oof. Bard right yeah, here, and that wow, is goodness. game. Woof. So, a 5-1 to one victory for the Jins team proper. I believe in the last game, it was 5-1 to one for the Hatters, was it not? If not 5, it, it was definitely Hatters win. So that means we get to do a final match at Periton. Alright, Periton. This will be a good combination right. of openness and crowdedness, I think. I know. I love Periton. It's such a great yeah, it's really map. Because you can do anything there. <laughs> there are lanes if you want to snipe. There's, uh, you know, dark alleyways for you to do ambushes. 